Hey guys, welcome to On the Couch. I'm Nicole. I'm Christian. And today we are joined by Lisa Regina and Leslie Smith. And the, uh, Lisa is the producer and writer of a film called Shooters Now. And Leslie is one of the cast members. So uh, welcome guys. How are you Thank doing you. today? Thanks Thank for you. Thank yeah, you. No problem. Um, so you guys are very excited about this film. And we even ta have some students from Rowan kind of helping you and, Love and learning from you mm -hmm. and, and everything. So it has a home with us here, definitely. Um, so yeah, just tell us a little bit about what, what the film Shooters is. Shooters Now yeah. is a screenplay that I wrote. I was inspired by a good friend who plays wheelchair basketball. He's an uh, actor. His name is Eddie McGee. He's out in L.A. right now. He just did a film with Philip Seymour Hoffman, as, as a matter of fact, God's Pocket. But um, So Eddie inspired my screenplay. Uh, I watched him play wheelchair basketball, and it was just his athleticism, pretty amazing. Um, and a lot of the, the other uh, guys on the team were veterans. So that camaraderie and that connection really moved me and inspired me to write this film. Um, the storyline, just so you know, it's about a teen who's being bullied in high school. And the high school basketball coach mentors him, sort of takes him under his wing. Um, but the high school basketball coach, basketball coach who's being played by Eric Roberts, actor Eric Roberts, he's dealing with um, a lot of his own demons because he's having a hard time forgiving his brother for an incident that took place. Um, so he's really struggling with a lot of um, pain and forgiveness issues and then he meets this teen who's being bullied. Uh, the game of wheelchair basketball comes in when his brother returns home from playing wheelchair basketball around the world professionally. And that's where um, the scenes for wheelchair basketball came into the storyline. And I have a lot of uh, men, men and women veterans that I've already cast in the film. And Leslie Just is like one of our cast members. <laughs> and I was teaching an acting workshop because I am an acting coach many okay. years in New York City and South Jersey. And uh, Leslie came into my acting workshop, and I met her, and she just blew everyone away because mm. she was amazing. Uh, Very, I know, I mean, she was, <laughs> she was so natural on camera, really amazing, and so inspirational um, because of the adversity that she's had to overcome in her own life. So I ran home that night, and I wrote her right into the screenplay. Wrote her wow, into the she, it wasn't even a character. No, yeah, it wasn't. No, when I met her, that just, wow. I, 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 you were like, I, I need her in this film. I need her in this film, yeah. <laughs> And my actors were all inspired by her, so I said she has to be in this film. That's amazing. So I wrote her um, uh, into the film, and she has scenes with Eric Roberts. Um, and I just can't wait for her to meet Eric and the cast. And Donna McKenna is our co-producer in New York City. Um, so I'm bringing the film home. I'm, I'm a South Jersey girl, Philly girl, um, and went to New York to study many years ago at New York University. And I wanted to shoot the film here in South Jersey, so that's why we're doing it. That's your um, home. Yeah, and right now we're developing, we're raising the budget for it. Uh, we're doing that on crowdfunding Indiegogo. Right. Um, and we do have a couple angel investors locally that want to see this film made because of the subject matter of bullying and wheelchair basketball. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, I'm sure it, it, it hits home and inspires a lot of people. Sure. Um, so, Leslie, tell us a little bit about uh, <laughs> you kind of coming into her acting class in the day right. you. The day that you met Lisa. <laughs> right. No, it was it was life changing and it was one of those things I'd always, you know, ever since being a little girl wanted to try acting. But I went, you know, down a different road and joined the army and served my country and, and proud of that. And from my service I did lose my leg, uh, left leg right mm. below the knee, and pretty much all of my vision, leaving me legally blind. And so after a very long time at Walter Reed, several times actually, it was, you know, I've been given this second chance and I need to follow through with something I've always wanted to pursue. And I came across Lisa Regina, took the class, and again, it was just life-changing because I was so inspired. And what I love about this film is its message and the fact that Lisa is gonna incorporate veterans. Because you have to understand that when you are a newly wounded warrior, whether it's from wounds, illness, or injury, you're asking yourself that question. What is my life going to be like? Can I do this? Am I ever going to be normal? What's it going to be like? And then to see this film with casted veterans. So you have to imagine a new wounded warrior in the hospital seeing this film and fellow service members in the film. They are going to get so much inspiration and have so much hope and that's going to be um, motivation for them to get better and their recovery and their rehab because they're going to see all of us in the film yeah. talking about it, spreading the positive message and saying, you know what, there is hope. 
it's going to be okay. I just have to believe in myself, and I'm seeing all my fellow service members, so I know I can do it. And, and that inspires oh, anyone, yeah. even our younger audience, the teen that's being bullied in the story, you know, they really relatable to young teens who are going through bullying issues. Um, just showing that inspiration, that hope, I believe it will inspire you know teens as well because if, if you can overcome all the adversity that you have had to overcome then I believe they can make it through their bullying years in high right. school not to diminish it because it is really a widespread right. issue and casting think, casting right. veterans that's that's amazing that's, isn't it yeah. I'm so I mean I talk know. about a role model yes. you know right it's not movies are always looking for some role model for the audience but right. having you know you and other veterans is and I think it's right. definitely a different right perspective than just casting yeah. someone to play in a game. Yeah, it's not casting an actor to play a veteran. Right, it's, it's, right. it's a real life yeah. right. portrayal. And it's going mm -hmm. to come oh. from the heart because, yeah. you know, everything that I've been through, I, I would not change anything, you know, but looking back, it's just made me such um, a happier person. I feel more confident, more empowered because I've tapped into this inner strength that I never knew that I had. And so once you tap into that, this whole new world opens up. And to give this opportunity mm -hmm. to veterans, I mean, you're going to do so much amazing good for, you know, yeah. again, physical recovery, emotional recovery, because it gives us hope and that somebody still believes in us, hasn't Absolutely. given up, and supports yeah. us. And I was just going to say, too, yeah. that the main message I hope to get across as well, as, you know, we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. in high school you always try to fit in and be mm -hmm. cool or ha wear the right clothes, you know, have the best car, whatever it may be. And after everything that I've been through, it's like I like being different now. And so I'm trying to focus on the things that make me different. My prosthetic leg, you know, my vision loss, having a service dog, and that's what makes me special and that's what makes me unique. And so I'm hoping that the message in the film will convey that to all of the teens, adults, everybody. To find something right. unique within themselves. So, yes, go with it. Absolutely. Let that shine right. and, yeah. Yeah, and take over. Yeah, so we have some pictures too from. That's Eddie McGee uh, playing okay. Mr. Brown. There's Eric Roberts, who'll be our okay. coach. He's, he's the coach. Eric, all yes. right. That's from our Indiegogo site. And that's okay. your website. There's you. And that's yeah. me, acting coach. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And there it is. Forgive, forgive play, play, win. win. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he's forgiving his brother. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right, and so well, do you have a date when this um, is expected to come like out? We or would you like to start shooting this summer, 2013. Okay. Um, as I said, we are raising money through crowdfunding in right. the go-go if you want to fund so. and be a part of it. Um, I always say if every single person across the country that cared about bullying and cared about mm -hmm. our veterans just fund it one dollar, we would right. get this film done. And right. <laughs> that's, yeah. Yeah. So that's amazing. So right. we're doing it in so India. It is crowdfunding, right. but we do have a couple angel investors that are helping us. Okay. But just to get started, we're using the crowdfunding platform of Indiegogo. So cool. you just look up Shooters Now, um, lisaregina.com slash Shooters Now. Okay. Um, and then the interns at Rowan and uh, that are being so helpful that will be on set during the shooting process, they will actually learn production from professional DPs right. and uh, everyone in the collaborative art form of, of filmmaking. Right. So, you know, you're, it's like film school on set and uh, you're learning by Absolutely. doing and you're learning from professionals. Yeah. Um, and I'm just really excited again to bring it back home. And we've already had uh, Triton Regional High School donate the school mm -hmm. for location. Adelphia's um, has been donating and feeding our crew and anyone involved in all the preliminary pre-production work leading up. Um, the whole community, the mayor, the chief of police, I mean, um, uh, Chief Diana, um, uh, Mayor Calvetes, everyone has really been supportive. Wow, so, amazing. Yeah, so, right, we're, so we're making a film with you, with everyone. Everyone, right? yep. So <laughs> everyone can go to that website, yes. help you by funding, um, mm -hmm. and just keep yeah, an eye out, and sure. we look forward to and seeing the finished the product. product. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, thank you, ladies, so much yeah. for coming on. Thank you Thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and we will be right back with more on the couch.